I needed a signal to control platform 3 which is a bi-directional platform used for splitting trains but there was insufficient space to put a signal between the two running lines so I decided to build a signal gantry with a route indicator. So here's how I went about it. Started off by drawing a platform which will become the top of the signal gantry and then underneath I'm going to have a beam with a rounded end on it. Moved that to one side, extruded it across, copied it because I have two beams supporting the platform. Then draw a base at the correct distance below the platform onto which I was going to extrude a C channel and lean the C channel over so it creates an A frame when you copy it across to the other side and then close off part of the C channel so it makes a hidden slot for the wires to run down from the signal heads and then a couple of braces on each side of the A frame to tie them together and then we're going to do a bit more work on the deck itself instead of being a big flat deck it's going to be individual sections like boards bolted down and we need a ladder I've already drawn a ladder for another project so imported that and then a bit of work on the deck itself import a three aspect signal head and a route indicator feather and now I'm going to create a mount and tie them back to the main signal gantry I've brought in a few components I've pre-drawn for other projects from the signal box I had a set of railing posts so I've used the same brass etching around here because I had plenty left over and a bit of brass wire bent round to link them to make the bottom rail and then a top rail with a loop a safety loop and there we go that's most of the 3D printing drawn quick look at it from all directions and a nice artistic shot at the end right into the 3D software 3D printing software we go I've tried various different ways of printing it stood up leaning over like that with the deck removed almost vertical that one's slightly inclined this proved to be the best version this is an early print without a removable portion to pass the wires down the leg and then printed the decks separately and then here's the version where I have a removable portion to make it easier to thread the wires through next job strip off the support structure clean it up take one home and test fit it just to make sure it clears the trains now we start adding bits glue the ladder in place test fit the free aspect head and slide the wires through and then turn them and post them down the slot inside the leg there's the, the uh, removable portion and here's a jig that I made up which was the same shape as the platform so I could pre-build the wire structure to then drill it in carefully and plant it on here we go pretty much finished with a couple of extra braces added and here's the root indicator being threaded into it as well and a look at the removable portion where the wires go down now you can see me returning the wires down the leg and out the bottom before I went any further I tested it with a 3 volt power supply just to check everything was functioning I didn't want to have to go through fitting all the wires down the leg and removing sections so I masked up the signal heads, sprayed it with a base grey colour, brush painted the deck wood brown, like wooden planks across, and then painted the railings white and added a small plate to carry the signal identification number. All finished, take it to the railway, to the layout, wire it in and then stick it down. Here we go, cycling through all the colours. And then back down to red again. Now we cycle the point across. 
so that we can then deviate to the left and run through the colours again with the route indicator switched on. Notice that when you get to turning it to the red aspect, the route indicator automatically turns off. While I was at it, I used my remaining components to knock up another signal with a route indicator on it. This time it's a right hand one for the approach to platform 3. Here we are with it showing green for going through the main running platform as we did on. We'll test the route indicator again as we did with the signal gantry. I used ultra bright LEDs um, because you can never have enough brightness you can always knock it back with a bigger resistor to uh, make it a bit paler Now let's run some trains. Here's a 9F approaching signal with a sharp brake ban and a rake of Heljan dogfish ballast wagons. Set. Signal turns to green and off we go. Thanks for watching, please comment, like, share, subscribe and ring the bell for notification. See you next time, bye.